Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain how you can color the area between two curves on an Excel graph. We focus on coloring the area with only one color. In another video, Excel color area between two curves with different colors. You can find how you can use more than one color for the area between the curves. On this sheet, you can see the return of a certain index over a year and the return of a portfolio that tries to replicate the index. We are interested in the difference between these curves, so we will make a graph of both curves and highlight the area between them. We start by creating a graph with the two curves for the returns. To do this, we select all data, the ones that represent the x values in the graph, and the index and portfolio returns that represent the y values in the graph. Then we navigate to insert, and in the charts section, we select the line chart. As you can see, a graph appears on the screen with two curves, one for the index return and one for the portfolio return. The x-axis appears in the middle of our curves since it is located at the zero y value. This makes the graph look a bit messy, so we will change this by clicking on the y-axis, navigating to the three bars icon and choosing the axis value where the horizontal axis crosses. We select axis value and type minus 20 as this is well below both curves. We give the graph a name, I'll take index versus portfolio return. And we're done with the graph appearance for this video. Now we are ready to color the area between the curves. The idea is to make use of the stacked area chart. This chart fills the area under a curve. We name it support and then for each additional curve, the area between this curve and the previous one is filled with a new color. To create these additional stacked area elements on the chart, we first need to add two more columns of data. We start by defining the support curve, and then we define the difference between both curves in order to color the area between the curves. For the support curve, we choose one of both curves. Let's take the index return. Next in the difference column, we define the area that we need on top of the index return curve to obtain the portfolio return curve. To find it, we simply compute the difference between the portfolio return and index return. Remark that we do minus the index return, since this is the support curve. Now we go back to our chart. Select Chart Design and click on Select Data. A menu opens where we add the newly defined data columns. We click on Add. Select the first column of data, which is the support curve. As series name, we select cell E1 and the series values, we select range E2 till E13. We do the same for the difference column, F1 as series name, and range F2 till F13 as series values. We click on OK and see that the lines appear on the chart. As mentioned before, we want to make this extra data appear as stacked areas in the chart. To do this, we select Change Chart Type. In the menu, we select Combo. For both the index and portfolio returns, we choose line as before. And for the support and difference, we choose stacked area. We press OK and see the area between the curves colored in yellow. We still have to remove the gray area now. To do that, you select the gray area. Go to Format and set the shape fill to No Fill. Finally, we delete support from the legend since we don't need this. To do that, you double click on the legend. Then double click on support and press delete on your keyboard. The chart is now how you want it to appear. A final remark that we make is that the order of the support and different series is of great importance for the graph. To show this, we navigate to chart design and click on select data. Here you click on support and then on the down arrow. As you can see, the area coloring is not as we want anymore. This is because Excel first colors the area set out by the difference data and then stack the area of the support data, which is of course not correct. We click on the upper arrow to move the data back to the correct order and close the menu by selecting cancel. This concludes our tutorial on Excel color area between two curves. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.